And fortunately, during halftime, I didn't have to watch the Stanford band, um, which, by the way, is just, I mean, could you could they be more of a bunch of hipsters? The whole, the whole thing, it's like they're mocking the halftime show, yet not showing how you can improve it. So there's like no risk. You're just sort of mocking the whole fucking thing, like which is to me classic hipster behavior. Uh, to me, that's the difference between nerds and hipsters. You know what I mean? It's like, all right, so you think what? The, the, the standard way that a halftime show is done is too rigid. So you guys are going to... I just hate how the whole thing is done. Oh, these guys are crazy. Oh, look at the guy with the fucking rainbow wig playing the drum. Oh, what's he going to do? The whole thing is fucking dumb. And then I just thought it was a bad... They made California look bad when they made fun of the Iowa people with the whole... Uh, you know, farmers only. And once again, I don't know. I don't know anybody in the Stanford band, but it just seems like that classic, I live near an ocean, therefore I'm smarter than you. There's something about people who live on the coast with their whole attitude towards the middle of the country. It's the funniest fucking thing ever to me. Like, fly over state and blah, 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 and all that. It's like those fucking people that you're sitting there making fun of, you know? Like, farmers only, hey, why don't you go out there and go fuck your sister? It's like, you, you mean the people who, who grow the food supply for this country, you fucking dope? What are you doing, huh, with your flute? Oh, oh, look at the cool kid with the clarinet. I don't know. I thought it was a hacky joke. And, um, I don't know. You know what I mean? Look, if you guys were, you know, just decided to trash one another, then it would be funny. But it just kind of comes off like, uh, it's like when Ricky Gervais does that shit at the Golden Globes. You know what I mean? He hires a staff of writers to write roast jokes aimed at people who showed up with acceptance speeches. And it's just, oh, gee, did you win that one? What are you going to do next? Slap an ice cream out of a five-year-old hand? I just, I don't know. It's the same thing with that. I thought it was douchey behavior. But fortunately, I missed all of it. You know, and then we come out with a paper mache cow. It'll be epic. Ugh, kill yourselves. It'd be one thing if Stanford ever actually put on a good halftime show. Like, wow, this band is next level. I get why they're trying to break the whole fucking format of it. But if you actually watch uh, the competitions of the best fucking college bands out there, their fucking drum lines alone would destroy anyone in that band so uh you know i don't know every once in a while i'm a fucking conservative and i'm a conservative on that one i just say yeah you kind of fucking made an ass of yourself but anyways i just hate the deliberately bad dancing that they do i think if you're gonna mock dancing you should be able to dance well you know to just suck at it and then be like making fun of it and then you just fucking like all right yeah yeah just like we thought yeah you don't have any talent <laughs> <laughs> fuck the stanford band i love their football program though 